Testing the function of the compact alternator on a truck. The standard alternator test requires test adapter multimeter. Tilt the cab. Undo the four bolts on the right engine cover. Loosen hose clamps. Remove air intake hose. Now the way is clear to unplug the connector on the compact alternator. Loop the test adapter plug into the free connector on the compact alternator. Lock the connector. The other connector of the test adapter goes on the compact alternator plug on the wiring harness. Lock the connector. Testing the B plus and ground connections on the compact alternator requires connection of the alligator clips of the test adapter. Connect the positive cable of the test adapter to connection B plus on the compact alternator and the negative cable of the test adapter to the ground of the compact alternator. Note, do not clip the negative cable to the cooling ribs of the compact alternator, otherwise the stator windings could be damaged. The engine is running during the test and the turbocharger turbine wheel turns without the air intake hose in front. Caution, risk of injury. So reattach the air intake hose. Do not reinstall the hose clamps until the final reassembly stage. Change to the other side. Note, the test adapter cable may melt, so it is best to lay it over the engine cover straight away. Test one. Is the base module supplying the compact alternator with voltage? For this, measure the supply to the field stage of the regulator at connection 15. Connection 15 is connected to jack 3 on the test adapter. The ground jack of the test adapter is connected to the compact alternator ground point. Plug the negative cable of the multimeter into the ground jack of the test adapter. Plug the positive cable of the multimeter into jack 3. Switch on the ignition. Measure the voltage between the base module and the compact alternator. The measured voltage should match the battery voltage. If it's much lower, the base module is not supplying enough voltage to the alternator. If the battery voltage supply to the regulator field stage is not guaranteed, the alternator is only excited above 1,500 revolutions per minute. This excitation, due to intrinsic remanence, matches the emergency idle function. A look at the base module fuse holder confirms it. Fuse F15 has tripped. Reactivate fuse F15 and perform a check measurement. Now, the measurement with the ignition on shows the battery voltage and the voltage to the compact alternator is guaranteed. Test 2. Is the compact alternator charging the battery at idle speed? Measure the voltage between connection B plus and the compact alternator ground. Plug the negative cable of the multimeter into the ground jack of the test adapter. Plug the positive cable of the multimeter into jack B plus. Measure with the ignition switched on. The measured voltage should match the battery voltage. Measure the voltage with the engine idling. It should be between 28 to 28.6 V. If the measurement is less than 28 V at idle speed, this could indicate a defective alternator. Note, do not take the measurement as shown in the following example. 
if you check if the compact alternator is charging the battery at idle speed by connecting the multimeter to the battery. The measurement is not taken at idle speed, making the measurement incorrect. Explanation At engine speeds greater than 1,500 revolutions per minute, the intrinsic remnants of the compact alternator means it is possible to increase the battery voltage supply to 28V. For this reason, the measurement must be taken at idle speed. If not, the result is incorrect and the proper functioning of the compact alternator cannot be assumed. Here, the measured voltage at idle speed is lower than 28V, indicating the compact alternator is not charging the battery properly. Test 3. Is the compact alternator delivering full power? Measure the charging voltage between connection B plus and the compact alternator ground. Plug the negative cable of the multimeter into the ground jack of the test adapter. The positive cable of the multimeter is plugged into jack B+. Measure with the engine running with all electrical equipment on. A voltage between a minimum of 25.8 and 28.6 V is acceptable. Test 4. Is there a voltage drop between the compact alternator and the battery? Plug the positive cable of the multimeter into jack B plus of the test adapter. Clip the adapter clip onto the positive terminal of the battery. Plug the negative cable of the multimeter into the adapter. Start the engine and increase the engine speed to over 1,500 revolutions per minute. The multimeter display should show that everything is okay and the voltage drop must not exceed 0.5V. Test 5. Check the voltage drop between connection B plus on the compact alternator and the sensor line connection S on the compact alternator. Use jacks 4A and 4B for the sensor line on the test adapter and bridge these two jacks. Plug the positive cable of the multimeter into jack B plus of the test adapter and the negative cable into the bridge between jacks 4A and 4B. Start the engine and increase the engine speed to over 1,500 revolutions per minute. Measure with the engine running. If the indicated value shows a voltage drop that's too high, it should not exceed 0.5 V. If it does, repair the sensor line terminal at connection 30 of the starter motor. Take a check measurement with the engine running at over 1,500 revolutions per minute. The voltage drop should now be acceptable. Via the sensor line, the electronic circuit measures a possible voltage drop in the compact alternator between connection B plus of the compact alternator and terminal 30 of the starter motor. If the compact alternator measures a voltage drop at terminal S, the alternator will increase the charging voltage up to a value of 31V. If the sensor line is faulty, the voltage is increased incorrectly, leading to the battery being overcharged and damaged. Test 6. What does the error message implausible alternator measurement mean? Check the voltage on the signal line L between the compact alternator and the drive control. Signal line L is jack 2 on the test adapter. Plug the negative cable of the multimeter into the ground jack and the positive cable into jack 2 of the test adapter. The measured value with the ignition switched on must be substantially lower than the battery voltage. With the engine running, the voltage should match the battery voltage. If an incorrect voltage is measured, the error message implausible alternator measurement will appear. To finish up, disconnect the test adapter.
Reattach the air intake hose with hose clamps and reinstall the engine cover.